Domino Rally was a popular toy by Action GT that allowed children and adults to set up intricate domino displays with various obstacles and accessories such as bridges, slides and even loop the loops. When the first domino was toppled it would trigger a chain reaction and as the dominoes came tumbling down they would interact with these obstacles. Domino Rally was indeed a well-known and beloved toy during its time, providing hours of entertainment and allowing for creativity in designing and setting up domino chain reactions. This was one of the many creative and fun toys that brought joy to children during the 1980s. Domino Rally Ghost Train with its glow-in-the-dark dominoes and spooky themed obstacles including a guillotine and gallows was a fascinating and creative variation of the classic Domino Rally. The addition of a spooky theme likely made the game even more exciting for children, especially during night time when the glow-in-the-dark elements would become more prominent. So Domino Rally Ghost Train was released around 1985-1986 and the reason why I know that is because I found the Action GT Toy Traders catalogue online from 1986 so it's around that time this got released now i never actually owned this as a child but i did want it uh, i remember seeing it in a catalog of my mum's and because i was obsessed with glow in the dark things back in the day i really wanted this set but for some reason never actually uh, asked for it so i got this about two and a half years ago and i've been putting off setting this up and doing the review for over two and a half years and and the reason for that is it looks like a pain in the arse to set up not just the dominoes but these contraptions as well and you know what i did a trial run and it is a pain in the arse to set up so let's get this open and see what's inside so we can start to set this thing up Here goes nothing. So there we go, that worked a lot better than I anticipated. Uh, the only things that didn't work during that run was the, uh, the gallows, the loop the loop and the haunted mine. The thing that worked every single time was the castle gates. So I had to do some fancy editing and some uh, manual overrides to make it look like one continuous run. Anyway, thanks for watching and happy Halloween and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, bye.